everyone, it's Tammy Mastroverdi, and I want to talk to you guys quickly about what I like to refer to as those not-so-spiritual moments in life. I think we all have them. It's part of us being a human being, and so I just want to give you some tips on that because I think sometimes when we're on the spiritual path, we tend to beat ourselves up or even allow friends and family members to make us feel bad if we react to something or have something that we do that maybe we consider not so spiritual. So... I always remember and I always think back to Wayne Dyer when he told that story and I think it was in the Power of Intention PBS special and I remember him telling a story about his daughters and he was yelling at them and telling them let's go let's go I think he was trying to get them to leave for school or leave the house for some reason and I'll never forget he said one of his daughters kind of put her hands on her hips and said to him you know what if all those people who read your book saw you now and everybody laughed and, and I just remember thinking, my God, it's so true. Like we all kind of have those moments where we're frazzled, we're with, we're with our kids, we're with family members, we're at work and, and things just get crazy, right? So we have those not so spiritual moments. But the thing is, I think sometimes we tend to get stuck on them or we beat ourselves up, right? We beat ourselves up for everything, for, for not manifesting quickly enough or the right way or for doing what we think we're supposed to do and it's not working, for not healing our body fast enough and so many different things, right? So here are some tools or here are some tips that I want to give you for when you have one of those not so spiritual moments. The first thing is to remember first and foremost that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. So that human side means you're going to make mistakes. That's part of being human. So understand that and know that from the beginning that, you know what, th there are going to be times when you choose fear over love or when you choose judgment over acceptance or you choose anger and you go from zero to 100 in two seconds over joy. It's going to happen because that's part of this human learning experience. So the first thing to remind yourself is, oh, that was my human side. That was my human side having that not so spiritual moment. The second step right away is to forgive yourself for having it and know that everybody does it. Everybody missteps. Everybody is trying to keep themselves elevated and trying to keep themselves connected and things happen. Things happen in this in this physical world and that human side gets the best of us. So forgive yourself and know that it's actually a good thing that you recognize it. You know how many people have, have are just mean or rude or judgmental and they don't even recognize that maybe there's another choice that maybe there's another way but you recognize it so embrace that and be happy and 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 be grateful for that fact the third piece actually is just embrace these moments embrace these not so spiritual moments when you mess up when you react in a way that maybe you didn't want to react and look at them and say you know what where did I mess up and how can I learn from this? How can I look at this and, and maybe not between that zero to 100, stop for a minute and say, maybe I can react differently. Maybe I can relax for and, and, and take a beat and not, and not react the way that I reacted before. Where can you learn from this? And again, be grateful for the awareness of it. Be grateful for the fact that, you know what, this is awesome. I'm so glad I got angry. I'm so glad that I judged that person or that I, I you know, I, I, I was thinking negatively. Whatever it is, be grateful for it because you're aware of it and that means you can do something about it. That means that you know next time there's a chance that it won't happen again. So really embrace those moments. The fourth piece is ask for help. So those of you who know my work, you, I talk about my elevated reinforcements all the time. The, your angels, your guides, your loved ones on the other side, all those that are, are available to you that you can call in to ask for help. I do it every morning as part of a morning prayer after my my morning meditation, I, I call in, and, and those who you might be familiar with my morning prayer, I've, I've actually given it as a, um, a, an actual MP3 file and things like that. So some of you might have heard it, some of you might have read it if you've been to a class with me. So part of that morning prayer is I call, and I call in and I ask for help. And 
I always, you know, I always call an Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael on a regular basis, but then I'll put in intentions. So maybe I'll put in the intention of, you know what, the last time I went to a family function, you know, so-and-so drove me crazy. I'm just giving an example. Or, you know, the last time my husband came home or my, my wife came home or my significant other came home and said something to me, you know, I lost my mind. So can, you know, can you please help me in this area in the future? I remember actually talking to Jack Canfield when I, um, back a few years ago, actually, I interviewed him for a cover story, and he actually he explained to me that what he does every night before he goes to bed is he'll go over the day that he had in his mind, even just for a couple of minutes, and he'll think where in that day did maybe I react in a way that I didn't want to react, or where in that day did a conversation or a situation not go the way I wanted it to go, and he'll just take a couple of minutes to visualize how maybe he would have wanted to react or how he would have wanted that situation to go. So now you're actually manifesting that change and you're, you're bringing it even more into your awareness to make a difference. And I always remember him telling me that and I think that really applies to something like this when you have those reactions and you have those situations where you know you feel like, ooh, that wasn't the most spiritual thing I could have done right there. You can, you can actually do something about that in, in your own mind and, and burn that into your own brain in terms of this is how I want to react in the future and kind of utilize the law of attraction to bring that reaction to you. So the last, last step of this whole process is letting it go. After you have recognized it and you're aware of it, you know, again, we have so many times, and I think the people in our lives too, they tend to, if they know we're kind of on this spiritual path, family members and friends will say, you know, well, I thought, you know, you're so negative. I thought you were spiritual or, you know, you read all those books, you know, how, how come you're reacting that way? So just remind them, you know what, I am human. And thank you. Thank you so much for pointing this out to me because now, now I'm even more aware of it. And, and let it go. Just let it go. Don't beat yourself up over it. We beat ourselves up over way too many different things. Don't beat yourself up over not being spiritual enough and not being positive enough. And just know that you have a choice to do better next time. And you're one ahead because you're aware of it and you want to do better next time. So I hope this helps you. I'm sure we all have these moments. I'm telling you, even Wayne Dyer, his daughter pointed it out to him. So it happens to all of us. Just remember that you are a spiritual being having a human experience and that you can do better next time. I hope these tips helped you and I can't wait to see you again next time.